Hello, Rob Harpen here. There are many ways to select presets and in this short video I will explain how it all works. You can do it the classic way by using the up and down arrow in the preset part for selecting the preset and by using the up and down arrow at the bank part for selecting the bank. But just like all our other plugins we have the quick browser which is located here. It opens if you click the mouse button while being over the preset name. With the quick browse you can go through all the banks and presets. This also remembers the last presets you have selected and recently browsed. This is great if you search for the right preset and suddenly found out that one of the preset you have heard before was the right one. The Quick Browser is an essential tool for saving time whilst creating music. If you like a preset and want to add it into the Favorites folder, use Save Current Preset in Favorites. It copies the preset into the 001 Favorite Bank folder. These Favorite presets also can be selected in this menu. 256 presets can be stored inside this folder. In the case that your favorite folder is full, please check what to do at the very end of this video to continue using your favorite bank folder. So this is how you can select and work with presets from the main menu. But there is more. If you click here, the bank manager will open. This adds total overview of all presets, bank folders and some very cool features and functions you also find here. At the right side you can find all bank folders included the favorites I've just shown you. The banks that begin with a zero inside the bank name are Predator 3 and Predator 2 presets. Banks that begin with number 1 inside their bank name are Predator 1 presets. Below the bank folder section you can find functions for the bank folders. For instance to be able to create your own bank folder. In the top of the bank manager you can select several pages. The preset manager you need to select to see all the presets in the current bank folder. Behind each name you can see a star and if you like a preset you can give it a star. This makes it easier for you to look back and find interesting presets in each bank folder. If you click on the star symbol next to the preset manager button only the start presets are displayed in this bank folder. At the end of this video I will explain how you can export or backup your star selections. Also you will find the order by date feature in the preset manager section. In the case of new presets you can click this button to have the most recently added presets visible in the top of the menu. At the bottom of the bank manager page you can find several functions for the preset files. You can copy a preset, rename it and so on. In the top of the bank manager the find preset button helps you to find a preset if you remember parts of the name. The search category makes that you can search on types of sounds. For instance, pet sounds. The set category button you need to use if you make your own presets and want to give them also a tagging. In the middle part several functions appear and if you made a selection of tags press apply and save and add these tags to the selected preset. By the way, if you created your own preset, use Save Preset As to save the preset in the current folder.
If you have already created your own folder, use Save Preset in Folder to select your folder or another folder. OK, now back to the star systems of the bank manager. If you install Predator 3 on a new system or you would like to exchange your start selection, well, let's go to the location of all the presets of Predator 3. On your PC it is My Documents, Rob Papen, Predator 3, Bank Folder. On Mac it is Applications, Rob Papen, Predator 3, Bank Folder. In this folder you can find all the bank folders included a text file called star.txt which holds your star info. So make sure you copy and backup this file if you would like to use it on another system or a new system. In the case you created your own presets and bank folders, it is wise to backup regularly your data from this bank folder. It is the case that if you run the installer again for updating your Predator 3, your own bank folder and presets inside of it will remain intact. Here is additional information in the case your favorites folder is full, since it has a max of 256 presets. Go to the Bank Manager. Create a new bank folder, for example, 001 My Selection 01. Go back to the Favorites bank, select all presets down here, then select Copy. Then go back to the My Selection 01 bank folder, this new bank folder you created. Paste the presets. Go back to the 001 Favorites bank and again select All and select Delete. Now the Favorites bank is empty and you can add presets again. The previous presets are now in this new created bank folder. You can continue this with adding another My Selection 02 bank in the case the Favorites bank is again full. Of course, don't forget to back up your own bank folders in case of a new system or hard disk failure. In the case you deleted by accident one of the factory presets, you can copy the original preset from the original bank folder back into the bank folder. This original bank folder avoids that you have to run again the installer. In the case you deleted your own preset by accident, go to the bank folder and the deleted preset will appear in a different file type name, the extension tilder avix. Rename this file to .avxp and the preset is back again.